Where are bass going to go to for the first place, they, first place they go to in the early spring? In the early spring, where is the first place that they go to? Good morning guys and girls, February 12 and it is still cold in Oklahoma and forecast to get colder. Down around 20 degrees, we got a little bit of ice on the trees over there. I think if I saw that on the news last night on the Channel 9 News out of Oklahoma City. I don't remember exactly, I think they call that rime ice or something, ream ice or rime ice or something. It's fog that ices up and I'm concerned if it gets real, real heavy, breaking the limbs on my pecan trees. And it can because it seems like it's building up. You see how white looking that is over there? i tell you something else I think is going to happen. I think we're going to get ice on the water. Some of y'all have come in and asked if our lake's ever frozen over. It never has. But I've seen ice in this upper end. Up in the upper end, solid ice. I think we might see that because we're going to stay below 30 degrees probably for another 6 or 7 or 8 days. We still have water, by the way. We still have water. And Apache and I fixed that water yesterday. We fixed it by praying. I swear. I swear, we didn't have a drop of water. At 11 o'clock, we put on our boots, we bundled up, we took some hand warmers that you get at Bass Pro Shop, shook them up, put them in our pockets, and we went down to, to walk out through the water onto that pump and pull the hose up and see where it was broken. As I walked out, as I walked out, I walked by an outside faucet, and Apache was walking ahead of me, and I thought, I'm just going to turn that faucet on. And I walked over and turned that faucet on, and water came out. And I looked up and I said, God, how did you do that? No, no, I don't want to know how. I'm just glad you did. Thank you. It really, that, and, and I came back in and told Chris, I said, pat me on the back, baby. I fixed it. She said, there's no way. And I said, I turn your water on. She turned the water on. We had water in the house. And we left it dripping last night, and we got our heater on emergency heat. Some of you all need to think about that. If you've got heaters, a lot of times you have to turn them on emergency heat when it's going to be down below 20 degrees. And some of you up north, of course, know that already. They sent us a video, told us about it. Yeah, yeah, Hunter Heat and Air, the people that take care of our heat and air, that's what they sent us a video, explained to us. You got to use that emergency heat. I think something freezes up outside if that happens. I don't know. I didn't, I, I didn't look the video. <laughs> Chris looked the video. <laughs> okay, well, we were talking about Proverbs 15, 15. Proverbs 15, 15. You ought to be able to memorize this one. Every day is hard for those who suffer. Every day is hard for those who suffer. But a happy heart is like a continual feast. I think what that's trying to tell us right there and I'm going to see what I wrote about it here in a sec. But I think what that tried to tell us is that even while we are suffering, because it's hard if you're suffering, we can still have a happy heart and it'll be like a continual feast. Some fishermen seem to be happy all the time, no matter what. They seem to be having a good time and smiling under all circumstances. Is it possible that some people never have problems? <laughs> Of course not. It's absolutely not that possible. You can't have it. Uh, we all experience problems. And God says every day brings trouble for some people. For the poor, this can be just having enough to eat. But for those who belong to God, life will still be abundant. Even when we suffer, even when we have problems, life will still be abundant. Most of us have never had to worry about having enough to eat. But we still will have many days filled with trouble. Filled with trouble. Not just a little trouble throughout the day. Days filled with trouble. Making sure we have true peace in our hearts will help overcome all of our problems. When we realize what Jesus did for us, how much He loves us, and what He's prepared for us, it should be easy to have a joyful heart. He hung on the cross for us. He shed His blood for us. He died for us. That's how much He loves us. And what He's prepared for us? Heaven. The grandest place that God ever created. Heaven. Every day is hard for those who suffer. But a happy heart is like a continual feast. Here's our tip for today. Bass will move to points near outside bends in creek channels in early spring. Now, normally I say <laughs> that... February 15th about turns the corner and you can start considering that early spring. February 15th, which is three days from now, it's forecast to be zero here at my ranch. So the corner's not going to turn on February 15th. But if you'll look up ahead just a little bit, 
to February 19 or 20, we're forecast to be back in the 50s. And there'll be some days coming along real quickly, trust me, <laughs> trust me, there'll be some days coming along real, real quickly when it's going to be in the 60s and the 70s. We're still going to have some bad weather, but this year here in southern Oklahoma, it's going to turn, let's just say instead of February 15th, it's going to make that turn February 20th. Consider that early spring, and those bass are going to start moving. They have to. God's causing it inside of them. Those eggs are growing. They're getting ready for the spawn, and they're going to start moving to the points closest to outside bends in the creek channels. Guys and girls, go after you. Have you a great one today. Please stay warm, stay inside, and remember, I sure do love you.